What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brendan Myers and welcome to the Create You Experience. Now with the Create You Experience, we take influencers, CEOs, business leaders, anyone and everyone, we create an experience first and then we move it into the podcast itself later on in this episode. Now today, we're joined by Austin Dunham. This is a good friend of mine. He's also a calisthenics enthusiast and really, really big across social media. You guys probably know who he is if you've been following me for any time. So he's actually here right now. We're gonna get a workout in with him and then we're gonna jump on over to the podcast. So let's go meet him. All the way, all the way, guys and girls, all the way from where? Where are you at now? Um, Florida. Yeah, and he's yeah. been traveling. He's been traveling like crazy, mm-hmm. really experiencing different parts of the United States. Um, and we're gonna jump in there, get a workout in. Let's do now it. you're getting a lot leaner. Yeah. And so we're gonna dive a little bit more into that on the podcast as well. But first, enjoy this workout. It's gonna be fucking intense. You Let's ready? Go. Let's get it. So guys, we're gonna start off with a quick warm up. Let's get to it. Just us, just us. So we wouldn't be like all the others fight and hurt each other. Not us, not us. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down. This shouldn't be us. How long do you usually rest in between sets? Generally for you. Generally two to three minutes between my compound movements. Okay. And so we're doing like a lot of supersets, high intensity stuff. So mm-hmm. if someone was a beginner, what would you say to them? Beginner, um, don't do this stuff. Start, <laughs> start off with the basics um, and get your numbers up. That's a wrap. There is your experience. I'm gonna jump into the podcast. And as you can see, the way he trains is a little bit different than I do. And it's very high intensity, not too many exercises, but you definitely feel it. Like I'm crazy pumped. As you can see, we're both very, very pumped. So I'm gonna jump into the podcast and let's get talking. Hey, my name is Brennan Myers and welcome to the Create You Experience where we ignite your breakthrough, create your experience, and bring your vision to life. Uh, I can't sit around and wait till it goes right, cause I've been hopping over obstacles my whole life. I got a vision and I know it's about to take flight. I'm dedicated to growth, I keep my mind right. I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'ma break through. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do, you gotta create you. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Create You Experience. Today, we have a special, special, actually, you know what? Fuck special. Sorry, this is unfiltered. If you haven't noticed yet, (laughs) if you haven't noticed yet, a unique guest, someone that I actually look up to now with his social media and what he's doing. And it's funny because it was almost kind of the other (laughs) way around in a way. Many years ago, I've known this young man for a long, long time, and he's killing it with business, but also with social media, in the calisthenics community, in the fitness community. Austin, say what's up, my man. Yo, what's up, everybody? So excited to be here, create you experience. Let's get it going, man. Yes, yes, I'm super excited to have him. Now, before we jump into anything, we really, really dig deep and peel back the layers. Austin, Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna peel them back. Onions, (laughs) yeah. I want to tell you 
we're on YouTube, but we're also across all audio platforms. So if you are listening, remember you can watch, you can listen on Spotify, you can listen it on SoundCloud, anything and everything. And also we have multiple camera angles. Mike is behind the camera. Say what's up, spec. No one will be able to hear you. It's all good. Also in the show notes and in the description, you can get seven free gifts from myself. I give programs, I give how to start your business, all of that fun stuff when you review the podcast on iTunes. So again, if you're on the audio platform, go into the show notes. If you are on YouTube, just go into the description. So now so, that we have all of that shit out of the way. Let's go. My man, Austin. So Austin is someone who is killing it on social media. Thank you, thank More you. More importantly, he's inspiring people. He's transforming lives left and right. Exactly. That's and he's also 2.5.4.3% body fat. <laughs> that's fucking science right there. <laughs> so Austin, man, like we, we, we showed the experience, right? And everyone that's listening, we do have an experience for Create You before where we worked out. And we do this with every single guest that comes on the show. We just really bring the podcast to, uh, to life. Oh, am I speaking right? To life. There we go. Fuck there we yeah, go. That's, I'll bring it to life. That was beautiful. Thank you for bringing that. To life. <laughs> <laughs> but we bring it to life by really showing some type of an experience. And today we, we did a workout and that was brutal, dude. Yeah, it was awesome. That was fucking brutal. It was quick and brutal. So, so where does this, where does all this training, let's go way back. And actually I'm going to show an image on the screen of little bitty Austin from a long, long time ago. Uh -oh. If you're, if you're listening right now, uh, <laughs> he, it oh says God. iPad pro news and rumors yep that's me dude wait 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 wait, wait. i, I want to play this so it's funny it, it's funny because you are like you got the earrings you're ready like to rap you're mm -hmm. like hyped up yeah my my style and just vibe was totally different that was a like, five years ago that's a while ago man yeah. so you are now a successful business owner you have ad team you have over I don't know, hundreds of thousands of followers all across everything people want to know what you're doing they want to see they want to learn how did you go from iPad Pro, <laughs> news and rumors, to yeah. AD team and transforming the world? Uh, honestly, it was, it was just a slow evolutionary evolution process for me. Um, at first, I thought I wanted to be a technology YouTuber because I looked up <laughs> to people like MKBHD and <laughs> yeah, yeah. other people in that space. And I've always been into like just filming content no matter what I was doing, even when I was like 14 years old. I had a YouTube channel, had like a thousand subscribers. Ooh, which getting I, up there. I felt pretty good for that at the time, you know? <laughs> um, and then I got into like technology. I started reviewing my mouses, talking about like tech news. <laughs> Your mouse? Your yeah, mouse? like I, I literally got my mouse and I reviewed it because I, <laughs> I couldn't afford to like buy another mouse. <laughs> so I was like, I was just trying to make content regarding anything technology. And then I came to college. Uh, that's when I discovered fitness. And then I got into that. I started making content about that. And you were in the military. Here's the thing that a lot of people might not know. Actually, mm -hmm. I think the majority of your followers know this. Yeah. Maybe not the new ones, but Austin was going through ROTC, correct? Yeah, Air Force ROTC, Valdosta State University. And you finished. He had to throw in the college. Yeah, like, yo, I had to. Is it Valdosta? Valdosta, yeah, South mm, Georgia. Valdosta. Mm -hmm. Sounds like pasta. A little bit, I yeah. love pasta. Uh, too many carbs I'm, for me. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I don't like <laughs> pasta anymore. My coach here told me not to eat it anymore. <laughs> but- you went to school and during this, you could have left school and not graduated with, with your degree. Mm -hmm. And there might be a lot of people listening or watching right now that are like, wait a second. So you're, ne you're now on, you're a YouTuber, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. I think you're a business leader. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. you're, you're someone that transforms people's lives. You're a transformer. So how did you go through this whole process without wanting to quit school and just pursuing YouTube full time? What was it? What, what stopped that? Gotcha. So th the truth is I did want to quit school like multiple times. Not going to lie. Like I, I, and that's fine. I had discussions with my mom and like I had periods where I, like I told myself I'm not going back next semester, but that would be temporary. And I'll always tell myself like, man, you're so close. Just go ahead and finish it. Yeah. It'll be just like in the trophy case. Who, whoever knows um, what might happen in the future. But, what, but, but hold on because mm -hmm. you, you're not touching on something. Oh, what that? was the purpose of you fulfilling that degree you've told me before mm -hmm. what was it um my mom my parents i feel like yeah yeah and and you wanted to not only make her proud mm -hmm. but you wanted to own up to your own word right exactly like uh i did have a lot of pressure i guess
Found, bro. Found. We're officially friends. Do you, do you have a twin? Y you know what? It's very interesting because sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, who the fuck am I looking at? Maybe my twin. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. But anyways, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I had, a, I had a lot of pressure and, um, and also not just from the pressure. I just wanted to make, make my mom happy in a sense. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and, and finish it out. I'm already in that environment. Like I'm probably, even if I was to drop out, I wasn't going to move out of the area anytime soon. So I was like, let me just do it. Just put my head down. It was easy for me too. Like I didn't study a lot, nothing. Right, so you, you had your career. You were already building your career, and you mm -hmm. knew where you were going. This was kind of, hey, this is something I want to accomplish, which, mm -hmm. hey, if you're, if you're someone right now and you're thinking about whether or not you want to quit school or anything like that, um, really look at it from, uh, from like the big picture. Look at it from a different point of view. I would say um, sometimes you do want to stay, sometimes you don't. It all depends on what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. For Austin, he had the means to be able to pursue his career and go to school and finish schooling but let me ask you this yeah. if 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 your career was very like significantly hurt because of it and you might not have been able to pursue the career if you continued with school would you have left school yeah i, I totally would have left school if that was the case yeah and why is that uh because long term i know what i want to do and i and i know like how passionate i am about it how driven i am to to succeed yeah so um Regardless, I would have been successful either way. I yeah. Know so, so when you look at it from that perspective, what I'm hearing you say is that you had a passion. Mm -hmm. Your passion meant the world to you. Exactly. And if that passion would have been crushed because of something that you were just wanting to accomplish, you would have easily bypassed it and pursued down your career, correct? Yeah. That new career. So this is what I'm going to tell you. If you're listening or watching right now, you have an opportunity today to define what that passion is for you, right? Mm -hmm. You have that opportunity. And if you are settling for whatever it is and it's affecting that passion, maybe it's living with your parents, maybe it is going off to school, maybe it's working at a local grocery store rather than a gym, whatever it is, I'm telling you right now, and you can, tell, you can also advise if you would like, take a step back, look at it from a different point of view, and make the decision on whether or not you want to truly continue because if it hurts your passion, if it hurts your vision, then what is it doing? It's not aiding in, in, in what you want to create. Exactly, yeah. And you want to fucking create you, right? So take a different step. Would you advise differently? No, I would say exactly that. Like follow your passion, follow your heart, even though that's cliche, is truth in that, in that statement. And um, do what you really want to do because – if you go down that short-term path, then you're just not going to be fulfilled in any sort of way, and you're probably going to end up quitting or just living a boring life that you don't want to live. Right, so, right, yeah. right. And so, you know, we got a little sidetracked because it, that's some juicy shit right there. Mm -hmm. But when we get into that, that when you transferred over from school to really full-time in your business, I mean, you've been blowing up. You've been really, really growing right now. Um, and, and, and you're, you're, being, you're becoming more and more successful. You're thinking more. Wh where would you say you spend your, like, most of your time? Like, is it more so learning from other people? Is it just creating your own content? What would you say it is? Because now you're, since you're more established, where mm -hmm. is your focus? Right now, my focus is uh, creating my own content and also, in a sense, learning from other people too. Like, Creating content um, it is second nature to me at this point in time. So I do it often, do it like every day or every week. But also I'm still a student in that area and I always like to learn from other people and see how other people are killing it and just taking ideas and golden nuggets from them too. So would you say invest in yourself? A hundred percent, yeah, of course. Money, everything, relationships, friendships. Because from my point of view, you don't really have that many people that like hate you or like oh fuck austin dunham ad <laughs> team screw that boy little do you just L little do i know there is one person <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit a little bit later because oh, okay. it, it'll be it'll be good to to dive into that because yeah. i personally know austin and you know he was the hulk at one point in time on the street <laughs> um a long time ago when i was pushing his buttons but he's an incredible guy and he really shows up for people and i i've noticed that with you and that also provides the value for everyone that's following you. And it really shows in your growth. Thank you. And it shows 
in your travels and who you stay with and who you associate yourself with. So where did you get that from? Where, where does all of that, that, emo, that emotional trust come from and discipline and communication? Where does it all come from? Uh, that's a hard question to answer, I feel like, but um, maybe just my overall upbringing, like yeah. how I was raised, my parents, what they instilled in me. Um, military, ROTC, that program, college, and overall just my personality, you know? It's just the way I am. Right, and so you're, you're super successful. Look, you have your body weight training down. Mm -hmm. You have, like, everything down. That's, that's cool. That's great. Like, like your mom, your dad, who, who are they? What, what did they instill in you, man? <laughs> because you don't talk much about your mom and dad. Yeah. Um, just basic stuff, man. Like, to be a good person, um, I, I grew up in pretty good parts of neighborhoods. I always got what I wanted for the most part. Um, manners. like just Take simple. that with a grain of salt, my friends. Take that <laughs> with a grain of salt. It's like really simple stuff that man, I feel like every kid or person growing up should know and have. Like, just being courteous, being... Um, having emotional intelligence with others and being um, empathetic with others and helping others, like just. But why? Why would we help others? Why wouldn't you? Why? Why? Why would I go out and be like, "Hey, man, fuck what I think. I want to help you." Why would I do that? <sighs> For your own purpose and fulfillment. Some mm. people don't get fulfilled by that, but um, but I feel like at a point, a, a lot of people do, and. I wasn't like that at first, but through like the, so the social media stuff, YouTube, I discovered like the impact that you can make just by like helping s somebody and how simple it really can be, you know? So, so, so actually what I'm hearing, and I was just, by the way, I was playing devil advocate. You ever heard of the devil? Yeah. A few yeah, times. Such an asshole. That yeah. guy. Yeah. It's fucking dark, dark dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I was playing devil's ad advocate because the truth is that we do find all of our fulfillment when not only we trust ourselves, we have the discipline with ourselves and we give to ourselves what we give to other people because we are born into being like straight up relationships. Like that, that's what we are. We're like one big relationship. We're a relationship with ourselves and relationship with other people. Mm -hmm. And if you always like put yourself first and you're like, hey, I'm the best or like I'm going to do this or this is for me, it's not going to be fulfilling long term. Exactly. Yeah. And you learn that through social media as well. Really, really seeing it at like, hey, how can I give to everyone that's following me? And and that's also selling. Mm -hmm. When you sell, you're actually giving. True. Very yeah. often. And I think a lot of people that are listening or watching right now may take that and be like, well, wait a second. I don't want to sell or I don't want to be that or I don't want to do this, but I want the social following or, hey, I want everyone to know my name or I want the big views. But actually, and you can counter me on this if you want, I feel like that's just coming down to ego. When you don't want to sell and you want more numbers and you want more people to like you and you want everyone to see you, I actually think that's fucking more ego than anything. And so what would you say to that? Do you, do you believe in, like, how much do you actually believe in selling? What can you say about selling? And do you think selling is an ego thing? Or do you think it's more so, hey, I'm going to help you and you get to invest type thing? What would you say? Yeah, so um, I actually discovered this probably a year ago, the, that same thought of selling and the reasoning and impact behind it. Yep. I see it as a, a service to your people because like, if I didn't have nothing to sell or to give to somebody for them to invest in themselves, then I feel like I'm doing a, a disfavor to them in a sense. You know, like If I didn't have uh, these training programs or whatever else these people could invest in themselves to get a better body, feel better, more vitality, whatever, then I would feel like I'm, I'm not doing them any good. Right. So. Because, because you are an expert, quote unquote expert, right? Exactly. So you can say self-proclaimed, who gives a fuck? Yeah. What, what matters is that you care, mm -hmm. right? And that's what truly makes an expert in the end, someone that brings value and cares yeah. and is always wanting to learn. That's the most important. But what you're saying is um, you, like you're actually giving them something that they need mm -hmm. and rather than them going to someone else that maybe isn't going to provide all of that 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 and more all of the value you're there yeah you're almost like a father to them yeah and speaking of value that you said that i feel like 
you should first give value before selling though. Yeah. Like just wherever value is to you. Free Absolutely. content, whatever. Yeah. And and like you said, value can be literally anything and everything. Mm-hmm. It could be giving a PDF. It could be creating content. It could be um, donating something. Yeah. It could be volunteering. Exactly. Give, just give. Just give and, and not ask for anything in return. You did that for a long time, man. And actually, I want to bring something up. Okay. Remember when I tried that I, I wanted to sponsor you yeah. back in the day <laughs> with my calisthenics brand. And um, I was close. I was not a master enroller at that time. <laughs> I was a little Pee Wee Herman in that master enrollment game. Yeah. I say Pee Wee very loosely because I love that man. <laughs> but I couldn't get you, man. I was like, I was like, dude, I know you're gonna fucking blow up. I can feel it. It's in my gut. My stomach's rumbling. My, like you were starting to get more and more shredded. I was like, fuck, like this guy's about to <laughs> blow up. So what the f- dude, what the fuck, man? Bro, you almost had me sold, honestly. <laughs> like I, I remember like I, I, you had that cow aesthetics intro where it's like the music and all that. Yeah, oh, shit. And I was like, yo, what what if I had that before my <laughs> videos? How cool would that be? I'm sponsored by Brendan Myers, all that's like Hey Austin, you can still be sponsored by Brendan Myers today <clears throat> uh but okay, uh, hey get the paper sign let's, <laughs> let's get it rolling <laughs> but yeah i had like forty thousand subscribers or something like that yeah but um now I, you're at what's over six hundred fifty thousand or something like that uh, you're growing more and more you're gonna have seven hundred thousand then you're gonna be at a million yeah and hopefully. then you're gonna pass me and i'm gonna be like fuck like yeah, dude we I'm all know that day was coming it's oh <laughs> so we want to get into the juicy shit huh no not yet not yet okay austin yet. okay ad team all right <laughs> but um <laughs> But yeah, I, I just I just felt like in regards to that sponsorship, I felt like I had my own path to go and I didn't know too much. I didn't want to be sucked in on, in the sponsorship so early. I was just smart about it and I guess it all played out, right? Yeah, yeah. Like here's the thing is that not only did he learn from it, but I learned from it. And that's the beautiful thing about it is that even though he rejected me in a way, it actually wasn't a rejection to me. At that point in time, I was like, fuck, man, ego slap. But now when I look back at it, I'm like, dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited in that moment. I was happy. I was happy that I learned how to now approach someone that I wanted to bring on as a sponsored athlete. And actually what it told me was, you're not ready. And some of us forget that. We're just not ready yet. Take your time. That's why boxing, you know, when you watch boxing, yeah. these guys take a long time, like King Ray or, or King or whatever that, that kid is. He's 19 years old. 20 years old he's gonna be a, he's a freakish athlete but they're not putting him in there with the big dogs yet yeah. what he's doing is building up his record getting the experience in the ring getting some older guys in there as well some younger guys and then soon enough he's prepared he's ready to go Private. and so we that's what we need to do in our lives if we want to truly create ourselves we got to be patient take those leaps take those chances but baby steps where did you take those baby steps bro in regards to what um everything in your life to get to where you are today because where you're at is fucking insane yeah so for me uh, so i meet a lot of people who want to do what i do and they want to rush to, to get there like you said um for me i never like focus a lot on numbers i just i just love to do what i do it's just i love posting videos I, I liked working out so when i would just post a workout videos or the concert or whatever I wasn't like, oh, I need 200,000 by next month or this needs to get 50,000 likes or whatever. I would just do it and I, I was patient with it and I still am patient with it because I know that over time, as long as I'm cons- consistent, then uh, my time will come. Right. But I feel like you're not touching on something and getting vulnerable enough What's because that? Because I know what it's like. And when you're in the game and you're posting videos, you're on like the real time views on the YouTube uh, analytics yeah. and you're like, oh my gosh, how many is that? Oh, oh shoot. Is it because so, so yeah. let's be honest in that regard, or let's be more vulnerable because you're honest, mm-hmm. right? But let's be more vulnerable with that because when we're in the game and we're posting these tutorials, we're posting these exercises and we're really enjoying that content, mm-hmm. we do get sucked into like the, our, our ego a little bit, a little bit of the analytics and numbers and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. And so what's your thoughts behind that? Cause it comes from an insecurity for me. What about yourself? Yeah, so I've dealt with that being in the YouTube game, even to this day. Like, you post a video, it might not do well, even though the last 10 did. Like, it makes no yeah. sense to me. But um, back then, I'm, I'm more aware of it now, but, but back then, I would uh, I would just try and one-up myself. And, like, it would, it would suck. I, I would see, like, low numbers or, you know, 30, 50 people watch my video that whole week when I was first starting out. But um, 
I would just keep hosting and I would, I would just keep creating. So you always want more. Yeah. That's where it comes from is that you want more, 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 more. So if you're listening or watching like, and, you, and you're kind of stagnant and you, you're not really wanting more, maybe it's time to shift. Would you say? Shift in what regard? Maybe it's time to shift your content. Maybe it's time to shift what you're doing in your life, your career. Maybe it's time to shift your, whatever that job is, or it could be your degree, right? Because if we're not, if we're not passionate about getting better and doing more, 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 like you see the rock. Yeah. He's like always doing more, more, more. He's passionate about it. Mm -hmm. So like you're more, we talk about your more, more, more. I love that. More, 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 more. (laughs) <laughs> when, so you want to sing a mores. song ad work oh my gosh no you're the best freestyler out there so i know i'm, I'm not bad that. i'm not gonna lie I'm gonna let him have I, that. this is the create you experience hey can you hear me i'm a lyricist i got eyes gazing all right i'm not gonna go into it anyways so what's more to you like where do you want to go with your life what is your what's some of your end goals yeah so my end goals um man i have i have so much i want to do honestly but Right now, I want to open a gym. I want to do everything I'm doing now, but on a bigger scale. One day, I want to help other people to learn how to do what I did. Um, I want to motivate others, and I want to stay as healthy as long as I can and have a life of freedom. So you're really, you're really comfortable right now where you're at? Com- I, want to, I want to say comfortable. Um, I like where I'm at, but I'm striving to grow more, and I am growing more i want to say mm, necessarily see, comfortable See, that's what i like yeah i like that you didn't say you're comfortable this yeah. is me testing you yeah hey are you comfortable austin no of course not. not no ever, ever. ever satisfied okay so let's get you uncomfortable okay i love getting people uncomfortable yeah i know it's an incredible experience welcome to the create you experience <laughs> subscribe now um so you had this little little stuff going on on youtube about this jaw stuff by the way your jaw a1 baby i covered it with the beard it's not showing well, okay, up. I'm going to request. I'm going to have a request. Um, everybody in the comment section, please. And if you're listening to this, please go on to his Instagram, um, <laughs> Austin Dunham, and request that he shaves the beard and he gets the jaws or size stuff going again uh-huh. because that was some major, major. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So like no all, this, all of this stuff that happened, mm-hmm. right, around that, like people were like, oh my gosh, the jaws are size shit, whatever. Like what was your intention when you did it? Um. <laughs> My intention is that I've always been interested in weird subjects and just learning about stuff. Like earlier today, we were talking about like how to get a deeper voice. I would <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and when I was younger, like oh. when I was a teenager, I would search things and research them like all day, like how to get a better jawline, how to, how to look more attractive, like just weird stuff, you know, stuff like that I've always been into. And so I've done that like for years and I had a YouTube channel and I was like, once again, I've always been into to, I've always been in, in, into sharing what I'm learning or doing, so I just shared the content of like my experiences and and what I did, and it kind of blew up. <laughs> and then and then uh, like yeah, it blew up in a couple different ways. There was a nuke in there, um, yeah. yeah there, and then and then you know other things led from it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so so that's cool. Now everyone knows that like yo, there was no ill intentions. It wasn't like Never. a fucking five thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollar promotional deal. Yeah. Like they literally took your your video and put it all over Facebook ads and everything. Right? Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. You were like, you were like, what the, what the hell is this? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's get a little bit more comfortable. All right. So <clears throat> this Chris Harrier thing. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be very, very intentional with this mm-hmm. and I'll be very honest. When I first knew Chris, um, I thought he was, I, I he inspired me a little bit. Like mm-hmm. I was like, damn, this is fucking, how he how he flows and his calisthenics and stuff like that like it was really incredible because i'm body weight training for a long long time weight training all of it and then i started to get to know him and i was i was put off a little bit it was almost like we were competition in a way mm-hmm. yeah. and even though we didn't talk too much or whatever like i i wanted to go out there and really build the relationship whatever i went down to his gym and like i tried to do a couple different things and i i almost felt like a punch in the gut from him whenever i talked to him like he just didn't like me yeah. And I'll, I'll say that, that my intention at, at the beginning was kind of like to build a relationship, but at the same time, see, like see who he was. And 
I now look at him as like, hey, he's inspiring a lot of people and it's really incredible and I give a lot of props to that. And I also see him as being an incredible father to his son and I see him uh, just being a, a good, genuine guy that wants the best, but he gets caught up in, in some of the emotional stuff and I have no problem with him. I would love him to come on the podcast so I could talk to him. That'd but like, cool. you had a little, a little scruffle with him yeah. and a few different things happened. So like, what are your thoughts uh, of Chris? And like, put it all out there, man. Like, mm -hmm. I know, I know who you are. I know how you act. I know how you are with a lot of relationships, and you care about people. You want them to, you want the best. And by the way, if you guys don't know who Chris Heria is, he's from Thenix. He's a very big YouTube channel. So yeah. tell us, tell us, t tell us, like, wh wh like, where are you at, man? Like, do you want that relationship? What does it look like to you? What do you think of him? What do you think of Thenix? What do you think of everything? Yeah. So from the start. Um Chris, I, I honestly didn't know him as a person, but I saw what he was doing and that was inspiring, inspiring in itself. Just like how he grew his YouTube channel so big and like just the style of everything that he's doing, like he's just killing it, right? Like no doubt about that. But um, from there, since we make similar content, a lot of people wanted us to, you know, have a collaboration together. Right. And uh, one thing that I learned later um, about him is that uh, he's a bit in insecure in himself in regards to other people who want to do what he does and also from a, a physique standpoint. Yeah. Like, um, if you notice, like at Expos, it wear like big coats. And uh, one thing that um, Gavos Eterno actually uh, told me later, which I didn't even realize at the time, when we did that collaboration video, he made me wear a large shirt. I wear medium, right? <laughs> And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, he was like, what size do you wear? I'm like, medium. And he's like, nah, we'll get you a large for this. And I wore a large <laughs> for the video. And it went, it totally went right past my head. I was like, okay. But um, it was because, like, he didn't want me to look bigger than him. But are you 100% sure that's what it is? Did he say that? Of course he didn't say that, no. Right, so, so, this, so this is my thought. I, dude, I know, like, I understand where you're getting at with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And look, I'm on your side. I'm also on Chris's side. Yeah, it, it's, it's, from, so like, it's from another backstory, too, based on other conversations I have with people who already knew him. Yeah. So, like, diving in that story, that was that was just a point that was brought up regarding the, the insecurities. And, and then those insecurities led to bigger ones, such as, like, him thinking that I was copying him because yeah. he's insecure that I would, I would, I guess, take over his spot somehow or blow up bigger than him right. or the, the fact that, I'm more ripped to him. My arms are bigger. Like just insecurities like that. And right. So, so like, what can you say to him? If, let's say he's watching right now. Yeah. What's up, man? What What would you like? <laughs> like, no bullshit. Let, let's take the ego out of it, man. Because we're mm -hmm. we're meant to live to, to communicate in a way and build relationships and work together yeah. and be friends and evolve, bro. What can you say to him right now, that will fucking rehash that shit and allow you to be friends with him? Because look, man. You're going to be successful either way. Yeah. He's going to be very successful either way. Yeah. I'm going to be fucking greatly successful either way. I, no, I just want to <laughs> throw the greatly in there. But, like, dude, what could you say to him right now? Yeah. Um, so, like I said in that, that video that I made, I have no hard feelings against him, honestly, at all. I would be willing to forgive and forget, shake hands, be cool and everything. But, honestly, I just know he's not that type of person. But if you are... But he that, is. Okay. Every person is, man. Like, like I'm serious, yeah. man. I, like, I'm serious. Okay. Is that I know you want to be friends. I know, dude. We've talked... Like, dude, I know how you are with people. I've seen you everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I would want to be... I mean, maybe not totally, like, cool friends, but, like... <laughs> not, <laughs> not, like, on the podcast together, friends, you know? But, like... And let's get you on a podcast together. Oh, wow. That would be juicy, man. Be, now he's fucking using the word juicy. I love it. That that's would, what I'm talking about. That would be very wet. So that's what, <laughs> moist, <laughs> moist, moist. Moist. Okay, so so you would you would want to shake hands, maybe maybe grab dinner, talk or whatever about like the whole situation, then just move on with, with your lives and like, hey, when you talk about Chris, you say good things. When he talks about you, he says good things, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, hundred percent. And I feel like um. If he was more open to that, he would grow even bigger. Just with everybody in every relationship he's ever had. Right. So, hey, Chris, if you are watching this right now, I'm just going to tell you or listening. I'm just going to say, man, like, first of all, I DM'd you. I really like your music. Like, no bullshit. I do. I appreciate it. I also enjoy your calisthenics and what you've been doing. 
Austin here was inspired by you when you first started or, or when you or like a while ago. I was inspired by you. Bro, we're all a family in the end. When, when we're all on our deathbeds, imagine if we were all on our deathbeds, you think you're going to be like, hey, fuck you, Austin, for all that bullshit. Or like Austin's going to say, that. no, man, we're all in this to help people and transform lives. So hit them up. Don't be shy. Austin can actually have a conversation from a, a non-ego standpoint, and I know you can too. So that's that. Cool? That's that. Sweet. All right, let's see if that happens. Sweet. Hopefully it does. Tag him in that fucking comment section, whatever, so he can hear this. All right. Because I know your intentions. I know my intentions. And let's see if his intentions can meet that. All cool? right, let's see. All right, so now that we've gotten that all, all taken care of, I want to ask you a, a, a quick question. Let's go. This is a good one. All right. If we're at a dinner table and you're able to invite three people, three people, any three people, okay, who would they be? Remember, this is your favorite food. It's all of their favorite foods, everything. Three people, who would they be? Three people. Jesus. Um, not him. No, oh my. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> no. You, this is going to be Jesus on YouTube. Cool. This is going to be on YouTube and on all <laughs> audio platforms. Okay. By the way, subscribe For, now. Forgive me. Okay. <laughs> uh, three people. Oh, that's so tough. There's like millions of people on this earth. Billions, billions. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, dude. It's, it's cool, man. Sometimes I forget my uh, yeah, how many toes I have. There's a lot too. of people. Uh, three people. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now, and I tell you, I'm gonna do a different three because mm -hmm. I always do a different three whenever I'm at at, at a at a table. I'm yeah. currently at the Create You table, by the way. Subscribe. And I, okay, I'm I'm not gonna do that anymore. Promotion. Um. So I would like you. No, I would like. Oh. I would like Obama. Oh, interesting. I like Obama. Obama's a cool dude. Mm -hmm. I would like the um the president or the. Who's who's who runs Russia? <laughs> Um, Do I sound very Vladimir Putin. Putin? Putin, Putin, Putin. I don't know why I just went super blank. So Putin, Putin, and then I would also love a random guy from the streets of Egypt. Why Egypt? Because I'm so fucking interested in that culture, and I'm so interested in each and every person that's there. It's 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 a very it, that location has is like in the middle of a hotbed. Like there's so many things going on around there. Yeah, so many things. So again, I got Putin. Yep. I got I got the guy I got that guy from Egypt, mm -hmm. and then I got Obama. Obama is just incredible with his words and the way he speaks and everything. Like it's so special, man. It's in, not special. It's it's unique. It's incredible. So who would your three be? Can they be dead? Yeah, sure, man. Dead okay. people is cool. Uh, I don't know how <coughs> delicious the food will be to them, but yeah, yeah. I would say probably Gary V as one of them, yeah. just to have a conversation with him. Um, two, Jay Z. I'm thinking why why Jay Z? Is it because of your your audio video that that you recorded like about the iPad and stuff like back in the day, you're a music. Oh musician. no, 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 no. Just cause he's like a, a mogul in his face and he has like, he just, just a great guy. <laughs> okay. So, so Jay-Z, Jay-Z and then who else? And also, um, I'm thinking MLK, he popped up in my head. Martin Luther King. Yeah. He's, why? A, he's the reason why this is happening right now, man. That, that's true. Yeah. That's, that's there's a lot of reasons why it's happening. Yeah, but he was a, a he was a he he created a lot of change, a lot of transformation. He absolutely did. Yeah, incredible guy. That's what you wanted. so AD team, <laughs> MLK <laughs> team. Okay, I like that. ML but like, yeah. but what does MLK mean to you? Because it's it's not just like Gary V and I and I like this guy, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. Like, what is MLK? Why would you want him at a dinner with you? Like, what would you want to ask him? Why would you want him there? Just like to pick his brain about like I mean. His mindset is in the 50s and 60s, so I'll, speaking from that mindset, I would want to see like why he did what he did and what he experienced, what he experienced and his drive behind that. And also, I would show him today, and I want to see his reaction and uh, his thoughts from what's going mm -hmm. on today. And what are your thoughts about what's going on today with society? Where is society right now to you? Society? I mean, I live a pretty good life, man. I don't experience too much, so it's been... It, it seems pretty good to me. We're just in a very social media, digital age. I mean. So do you think so? society is aiding in the success of everyone around us? Do you believe that it's it's hindering people? Do you believe that it's just fucking there and we're just going through it every single day and it's how we react? Like, what are your thoughts about society? Huh. Society. How do you describe society? Society is, is what's around us, is uh, maybe the environment. It's the uh, digital age that you talked about. Yeah. It's how people are reacting. It's the words, the verbiage. It's the clothing. It's the style. It's it's everything that encompasses what we're in today. 
Yeah, some people have their own opinions, but me, I feel like we're progressing every year, every five years, every decade. Like ten years from now, all this is gonna be super outdated and gonna not start. create you. You think so? No, this table. No. Wow. Yeah. That was that was aggressive. He. Uh, <laughs> There's gonna be like maggots. Chris, hit it. me up, bro. I'm down to get. <laughs> I'm down to get back. No. Um, dude. I like this table, first of all. This is epoxy. Okay. I was going to ask you, actually. It's epoxy. It's very nice. So if you're listening on audio, like, go to my YouTube and look at the table. It's epoxy. Epoxy. <laughs> Does epoxy last for 10 years? Austin, it will last as long as I want it to. Pro probably. Yeah, tables last 10 years. Because your word's your world. Tables last and anything that you think will come true. Kind of. I like that. Yeah, sort of. So society, man, you didn't even answer the question. You bypassed it. I did. I feel like I feel like we're progressing in society. I mean, it's it's a hard question to answer because kind of like what sector you're in, where you're at. But America, United States, where I'm at, what I'm experiencing right now, I feel like we're progressing and we're in a, a good time. Like it's a great time to be alive for me. Okay. Honestly, Th that's yeah. a sp that's a nice answer. Thank you for the answer. Yeah. Awesome. You know what I think? What I think fuck society. Okay. And fuck what it thinks, but at the same time. I do think that because of where we are in our lives and what is provided to us, whether it is a phone, it is clothing, style, whatever it is, like even just having a TV, it does provide a lot of opportunity across the world. So fuck society, but also thank you society, right? Because we do have what we have in America. And let's be very honest. This is America. Yeah. The home of the brave, the land of the free, right? Mm-hmm. So what about people in Pakistan? What about people in different parts of India that are super poor? You know, like I look at it as, as an opportunity for them, right? But I also look at it from like, it depends on where you are in your life. Mm -hmm. You're successful, right? But if you're a kid and you're going through high school and you're listening to Gary Vee, and then you're also listening to a hundred other people and you have the fucking twerkers of the internet, which by the way, I love twerking. I'm a twerker myself. Do you twerk? <laughs> no, I don't twerk. Okay. Well maybe, maybe we I can should... twerk my biceps though. Uh, okay. See that? Okay. There we get it close. That's moment. money, man. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. I've been practicing that for over 10 years. Well, ladies, he will be taking applications. Um, okay. Yeah. So society, <laughs> I think. Wasn't expecting that, were you? Yeah, no, I was not. That twerking was pretty dope. We have tw <laughs> people twerking everywhere in this room right now. Perfect. Um, so, so my thoughts to, to add to that was like, hey, fuck society, but at the same time, like, thank you, society, for what you've provided to us. I think that people need to create their own path because uh, society's not going to create it for you. Of course, yeah. I, mean, that's, I feel like that goes without saying. So for YouTube, if someone wants to start a YouTube channel today, what would you say to them? Start today. Don't overthink it. You don't have to have the nicest camera, the nicest microphone. A phone or whatever you have literally works. At first, it's more about getting the content out there and just getting used to recording content. And naturally, you're just going to evolve the longer you stick with it. Guarantee it. I bet if you make 100 videos and you go back and look at your first video, it's going to be totally different than your 100th video. So different. I look the exact same way as my first video. So I guess you're just unique. In that way. No, I'm kidding. We all look yeah. we all look different. We always grow. We always have these opportunities. Just take advantage today, right? Uh so you have YouTube. We have all that other bullshit out of the way. Man, what do you like to do? Like like do you like awesome to like edit, to man? Do you like to play soccer? Hey, hey, do you like badminton? No. I actually I've never played badminton. Wow. I, you don't honestly, like badminton. I honestly forgot what that was. What is that? Is that like with a net? Um you know what, dude? <laughs> Yo. Do you like baseball? <laughs> no, actually, I hate it. Go with baseball. <laughs> you don't like baseball, okay? Do you like soccer? No, um, really bad with my feet. Okay, this is we're getting somewhere. Okay, yeah. do you like football? I do. I like. Oh, uh, look, <laughs> he likes something. I like football and basketball, man. So why do you like football and basketball? I, I've seen I've seen you touching the rim, man. You got that that vert, that next level vert. Yeah, I see I try, you, I try. fifty inches. But um. Yeah, I like those sports because it's what I grew up playing, right? I guess, in recess with friends. We always play football or basketball. Like, we don't go inside and play soccer. We don't play golf. We don't play I, Okay, time out. Put the camera on me right now. I need to say this. <laughs> I played golf for five years. Show some respect. <laughs> okay. Golf is honestly pretty hard. I'll be real with you. Thank like, you. That's hard. You, you know what, man? Thank you for respecting that yeah. and acknowledging that. I played golf. I also mm -hmm. played soccer. 
also played baseball. I played basketball. Mm-hmm. I played football. I never played badminton, but I did, I, I did play tennis. And I'm very good at ping pong. I'm good at ping pong too, actually. Are you good at ping pong? I am. Are you? I wish we had a table right now. I would beat you. Uh, this man is challenging me. No, for real. I, I played all throughout college. That was like in our dorm area. Oh, mm-hmm. were you one of, were you in a frat? Of course not. No. Didn't have well, okay. Okay. Time out. The of course not. Why? Because I feel like with, with the frat, like you dedicate a lot of time towards that. And for some of them, you're not allowed on social media for an ex- extended period of time throughout really? that. Pro- yeah. So really, is if you're in a frat right now, this is no bad blood. No bad blood. No, but we're all about the cool blood. Mm-hmm. The cold blood. I have a lot I, of I've friends who are in frats. Yeah. You're in a lot of, yeah? Yeah. A lot of friends. Lot okay. Of friends. So, so you, so you don't like any sports. Great, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You like football and bas- You like football and basketball. Recreationally, yeah. Rec- recreational guys. Is it re or rec? Do, uh, recre- if you're recreating something, <laughs> then, you, then it's already happened. So uh, let's go with recreational. Okay, that's a little nicer. I just learned something new today. Recreationally. Recreationally. Okay. okay. So we have all like, look, we're like getting deeper into stuff, and we're learning a little bit more about you. Um, we're. 45 year old Austin. That's a Who is he? Does he have the jawline showing a little bit more or is it like the beard filled like three feet long? Nah, 45 year old Austin is doing one arm handstands. It has the salt and pepper look. Wow. Oh. Um, Dude, I already have salt and pepper. Poor you. You think that you think it's a, pro- okay, time out, time out. We're going to time again. <laughs> Camera time on me. Today. Listen, salt and pepper is beautiful. And don't you dare for one second. <laughs> Look at it as anything other other than that because I look into the mirror every single day and I see it. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, continue. Um, yeah, I'm probably traveling a lot, same as usual. You have kids? Uh, yeah, I think so. I have I have kids. Mate, probably yeah, family too. Yeah, a boy or a girl? Um, hmm, boy. One boy. boy. Nah, maybe two boys and one girl, I- or boy girl. Girl. Okay. So the boy, is he dunking at age 10 or? No, but um, I will enroll him in some type of sports. I w- that's what I. Golf? I heard you really like that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not golf, actually. Oh, oh interesting. So yeah. probably soccer. <laughs> <laughs> soccer. You like soccer? No, no. I mean, if he wants to do that, then sure. You, you never know. Like, he might be an all-star soccer player. You Dude, know? you're so laid back and like. Now I'm very open minded and laid back and chill. Are you open minded? I'm very open minded. Very interesting. Yeah. Austin. So let's get really, really like, okay. What do you think about this is this is a very interesting topic. It's actually very serious. So nowadays you're getting different gender uh restrooms. You're getting uh there's a lot of LBGT is LBGT, right? Uh I wouldn't know the acronym. Okay, I believe that's what it is. Mm-hmm. What do you think about one guy being with another guy? What do you think about women being with women? What do you think about that? Um, so funny you say that. I've seen quite a few guys recently just holding hands, walking down the street and stuff like that. Like uh-huh. It catches me off guard at first because like, growing up, you don't see that type of stuff. But mm-hmm. being in this day and age in society um, is becoming quite the norm. So uh, I let people do what they do, man. I, I honestly really don't care. Like. I've also had been not close friends, but like friends with some gay people before. And I really think that some most people are just born that way. Like they literally cannot help it. So how can we just say like that that's weird or not natural for you to be with another person like that? Like being gay has probably existed since the start of humankind. Actually, it, it happened a lot more often than you think. And I want to ask you a question. If you were blindfolded and you were connecting with someone, all the tone of voices were the exact same. And the blindfold <laughs> came off. I thought and it was a guy. And it was a guy. What would your ex- immediate reaction be? And you connected with that person. You really started to build that emotion with them. Then we can be uh, friends. Why? Because you just connected with the person when you, you had the blindfold on and the tone of voice was all the same. What does connecting mean to you? Like, like on a, a really emotional, physical level, like I love you? 
type of it could be a lot of different connections okay i can connect with you and so but, be- but i'm talking about if you're with a woman because this is actually something that i really really love to ask people yeah because i'll tell you i'll tell you my opinion if you're if your eyes are blown blindfolded and you really connected with someone obviously this is not how it works this is not at all but i'm getting to a point this is why i say fuck society is that if you have a blindfold over your eyes and you're connecting with someone so deeply and actually you start catching feelings for them and you really enjoy that person, right? And then you take it off and it's a male in front of you, immediately what's the reaction? Either because the way you grew up is probably similar to the way I grew up is like, uh, that's not really like the norm. Uh, that's, not, that's not right. Ooh, that's, that's not cool, whatever. But what if we grew up in a society where that was the norm? where that was completely okay and you did take off that blindfold and was there there was a guy that you liked um okay you can connect with somebody like on that level blindfolded and all that but also another part of connecting and with somebody is being attracted to them and once the blindfold comes off like physically from my eye point of view i'm not like attracted to dudes so okay that's why i say like we can like be friends and like have those deep emotional talks and stuff but i'm just not like, I would, I would love to hear what people think about that yeah. because it's very interesting because like from some people think, and you know, like some people are more spiritual and they're like, Hey, I'm, I'm more connected to the, to the being of a person. Yeah. Other people are, are more connected to, uh, the way someone looks. Other people are kind of both. Right. Like mm-hmm. I know, I know this is like a completely different topic, but it's interesting because it all surrounds society. I, I believe in the way we grow up yeah. and the reason why you are where you are on YouTube and you are where you are with your businesses and helping people and relationships and everything that you do is because of society and it's because of how you grew up and it is because of your mom and dad. So what would you tell someone that's listening right now that maybe is confused on, it could be their relationship. It could be their sexuality. It could be their passion. It could be anything and everything. What would you say to someone that's confused? Where should they go? What should they do? They, they don't know what's going on because society's chirping in their ears and their friends are telling them everything. Mm-hmm. Their mom's saying this, their dad's saying that. What the fuck do they do? Well, I'm not going to tell them to listen to everybody else. I mean, that makes no sense. Obviously, listen to what... First, like, have a conversation with yourself. Really sit down with yourself and, and realize who you are, what you want. Write out pros, cons, whatever you need to do, a bullet point list, whatever. And um, maybe discuss that with somebody very close to you if you have that person or an online source. Unbiased. Unbiased yeah, person. Unbiased an unbiased person. There you go, yeah. And there's a lot of resources for that, including online. Like and so forums. take your, Yeah, so so basically take your time yeah. and trust your gut. Trust your gut. And um, from there, make a decision and go with it and um, make sure you, you don't regret it. Amen. And it really does t- come down to trusting yourself and that discipline with your gut. Like, hey... When you have a gut feeling, you got to go with it because the majority of time, actually every time, it really is right for yourself. I, I can say a similar situation when I was going through a battle with whether or not I should leave the Air Force ROTC program, which I did leave, right. but I stayed in college. But that was another like pivotal point for me within my career, I guess you can say. And that's re- relatively new too. And your gut and your gut told you stay and just finish? Yeah, every. Everybody else is telling me like to stay in, like double dip, do both at the same time, travel, the military free, blah, blah, blah. But I knew within myself and in my gut that I knew what I really wanted to do. Right. And that um, they, everybody else just did, didn't understand. They were like, what if YouTube goes away? But they don't know that I have a, a email list with over 50,000 people or, Ooh, or stuff like he's that. He's got 50,000, throwing money on the counter. Got to rap and got to get that. Okay, I'm not going to rap again. But, <clears throat> that, dude, that's, that's, um, that's amazing that you're, yeah. like, providing that vision for other people, like, because you're an inspiration and you are a living testament to what other people want in their exactly. lives, yeah. they, wh- wh- what they want to do. So I want to close, but I want to talk about one last topic. Okay. Where do you see the fitness industry going and social media? Hmm. So I feel like there's always new trends popping up like every odd few months or so. Yeah. But um, I feel like it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger with new faces, new people. That's why if you're in the fitness industry, you really got to go ham on it and really make your mark. Not turkey, only ham. Um, actually, I do prefer turkey. Okay, so you got to go turkey on it. Okay, yeah. keep going. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, from there, uh, realized that I guess your time is temporary in the space. Temporary could be 10 years, 20 years, but there's always going to be a, a better, fresher face, somebody who's more charismatic than He's you. He's basically saying that, uh, Brendan Myers, you're out in the calisthenics <laughs> game, and Austin Dunham, what's up, bitches? No, not even. There's going to be a new Austin Dunham one day, probably in the next two years, five years. I'm Never thinking in the next month. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but the truth is, is that, yeah, yeah, you know, go all in now because you never know when it's your time. Exactly. You never know when things are going to shift for you. Myself, I'm, I'm happy Austin is, like, one of the leaders of this industry. I used to be one, one of the, uh, the more well-known people in the bodyweight industry around the world. But, like, I knew my place and I knew my, when my time was the kind of shifting onto building businesses and helping other people in different ways. And now I'm continuing with bodyweight training in some ways, but it's more like I'm here to provide love and to show you what's possible and to really bring your vision to life. You're and here to create you. Yeah, create you. Dude, you should be on my team. Man, hire me. Hey, man, would you like to join the squad? Actually, I am a, quite a bit busy right now. Okay, that's cool. Second rejection of my life with Austin Dunham. This is incredible. No heart feelings. <laughs> but it's, it's true. Go all in. Do everything you can to take the next step. And we're actually going to close off of that. Perfect. And, dude, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Dude, so like, excited to be here, man. So incredible. Um, remember, Create You is all about taking where you are, taking your circumstance, taking your environment, taking all the bad shit, all the good shit, putting it all together to provide towards your vision because everything that you want is possible and your passion is, is definitely 100% possible to bring you the career that you've always wanted and to bring you the money and the relationships and the girlfriend and, and, and whoever and anything that you've ever wanted. You just got to keep on pushing and just go all in. So Austin, where can they find you? What are you selling? What the fuck is up? Give people some transformational shit. Let's go. <laughs> Gotcha. So you can find me everywhere. Austin Dunham, D-U-N-H-A-M, not Dunham, because I prefer turkey. Sure. Oh! Beat you to it. Bro, that was some good shit. Nice, nice, Yo, nice. That was some good shit, but I, I'm more of a chicken guy. Really? <laughs> I thought you were more of a bison guy. But anyway, yeah, Austin Dunham everywhere. <laughs> I create uh, everything, like vlogs, tutorials, around body weight, workouts, and just here to inspire and motivate you to become the best version of yourself. Create you. While creating you. Well, dude, that's... I can't believe that you're finally a part of the team. Thanks for thanks for being on. Um, yeah, salary 100k minimum. Oh, what money? He's minimum. A, is he a money? Is he a money guy? Are you a money guy, Austin? I just know my worth. Let's rerun it. Let's rerun it. No I'm kidding. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Austin. Um, and you definitely can check him out. Like he has programs. He has, he has all of that. Uh, he travels a lot, and he's on. Like like you said, he's on YouTube. So if you want any tutorials, any exercises, anything like that, motivation, he's even there for that. So definitely check him out. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in for yet another episode of the Crate You Experience. Remember, we're on all audio platforms. We're also on YouTube. In the description, if you want seven free gifts, it's just me like giving back. I'm good with money. Don't give me your money. Just take these opportunities that I'm giving you today and grab all that stuff by just reviewing the podcast on iTunes, and there you have it. So thank you again for tuning in for another episode of the Crate You Experience. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, and no we'll problem. see you next time. Peace. Peace. Flight. I'm dedicated to growth. I keep my mind right. I fell down, got up. I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'm a breakthrough. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do. You got to create you.